wonderful good morning it's 7 30 a.m here and uh, i thought it's a good idea to just take you with me and um, let's have a facility check together so this is what i do on a regular basis before i i'm leaving to the office i always check how the animals are doing <clears throat> if the temperatures are all right as you can see i I made a video about this uh, like a couple of months ago. Uh, we are using these uh, thermal controls, so I'm always also digital-wise uh, up to date um, how the temperatures are doing here. And um, yeah, just by using the app uh, on my mobile phone, so that's that's pretty pretty handy. <clears throat> so what I'm always looking for is then when I go through uh, the facility and especially if you are using racks <clears throat> I always look if there is a lot of moisture um, on the inside of the boxes uh, so in most of the cases let's have a look in here um, not a lot to to see but as you see like there's a bit of moisture um, in it and usually this is like a hint <clears throat> that there is uh, yeah like maybe they had a had a bath or uh, whatever or they just had a <laughs> had a poop so like this one here as you can see so it's always like worth going going through and just have like a regular uh, a regular look <clears throat> and once again here this is like always an obvious indicator that uh, the cage needs to be cleaned and yesterday i noticed that there was another um, animal having some troubles getting out of its shed and uh, you can still see some of the leftovers in here and what i've done is um, and this, at least for us, works really well. Um, I just took one of those empty boxes here. I put a kitchen towel um, uh, on, on the ground, uh, make it soaking wet, put the animal on it. And Good morning, Max. Um, put the animal on it and I covered it. Um, you cannot see this right now, but I covered it with um, another kitchen towel and also this one I made soaking wet. So just a second. And this is like a perfect example of what can happen if you do it that way. Uh, I wish I would have uh, a picture of the animals before um, because it was uh, looking really bad. And uh, as you can see, like it completely got out of shed on its own so there was it was not necessary uh, to peel off the skin etc uh, etc et so can i can only recommend to never peel off the skin if it's dry especially sometimes you have like uh, an animal um, stuck in its shed when it's uh, like um, it looks like it's a paper thin skin and very dry on the animal itself and i can only recommend uh, to you that you are like um, yeah leaving it overnight in such a tub um, cover it if it's bigger animals i can um, recommend to use actual towels so uh, strong like a stronger towel <clears throat> and really cover the animal in it and this will definitely help uh, like to um, to get them out of their shed uh, completely on their own so as you can see there's the skin and we have a beautiful animal over here and uh, not quite sure this is the vpi sanglo this is from a um, from one of our specter uh, litter from last year. <clears throat> so, yeah, this is 
this is what we do. Yeah, it's an early life. And uh, I thought it's, uh, it's necessary because later today I will not have any time left. So, um, but it's great that uh, quite some people are joining in. So that's uh, fantastic. Having a life for breakfast. Amazing. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I guess uh, that's it for like a just short walk around. Um, once again, yesterday we have been taking some more pictures um, and those going to be uploaded uh, um, to our website uh, pretty soon, especially of, uh, for a few 2021 animals. So <clears throat> have a great day. Take care and see you soon. Bye-bye.